Well, I knew it was going to be something from Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare because that on veteran is really, really hard. All the Call of Duties are because you get respawning enemies that just mess up your day. So it's going to be between Mile High Club and One Shot One Kill, but I could do Mile High Club eventually through just sheer perseveration and skill. Whereas I've never actually been able to complete One Shot One Kill on veteran without cheesing it because you're at this um, Ferris wheel and you have to carry this sack of crap with you because you can't shoot people anymore. You have to lay him down and he snipes people and you have to defend it until the helicopter comes and it takes so long. And on veteran you can't take more than like three hits and when you do get hit your gun goes all over the place you can't even shoot anyone back and you get a sort of prep time to set down claymores but there are so many waves that that prep time is useless and you can get shot from any angle and I have not completed this level without cheesing it by going in one of the little huts and just lying down and praying to God that no grenades come in because when you're on veteran and you are hiding, they try to flush you out of cover by throwing infinite grenades in. And if you get unlucky and one of those little buggers bounces in on the wrong bit of the wood, you just get blown up and you can't move because you're stuck in the corner and you can't do anything about it. So you just have to pray to God that no grenade hits you and you can get to the chopper on time and it takes hours one time i did it when i did it back in 2007 i went straight to my mom and dad i was like mom now i finally completed this level and they just didn't care and i was heartbroken and they're like get away i want to watch a touch of frost or whatever old people do i don't know well, see, I, I started thinking through all the ones back when games first came to home consoles because then it was the arcade mentality of making it as cheap as humanly possible and something like Battletoads would totally fit, like the jet speed bike thing is horrible. But I'm going to go with um, the Crash End Sane Trilogy version of the High Road. Now, the High Road, High Road was already terrible in Naughty Dog's version anyway because um, you just have to go down this big drawbridge and bounce off a bunch of turtles and stuff. But in the remake, and this is a point of contention, sorry, Josh Brown, but in the remake, they changed all the hitboxes, so it's not as squared off as it was in the 90s. Uh, they rounded them all off. I think Vicarious Visions was the developer, and uh, that meant that unless you get, unless you land like exactly in the right spot, it's Crash just sort of slowly slides and falls off stuff. So a level that was already about like pinpoint precision, timing, and placement and everything is just rendered nigh on impossible unless you happen to get to the exact spot. And I just the amount of times when I was on a good run and I'm bouncing turtle to turtle, possibly tortoise, and I'm just about to land in the wrong place or I'm about to land in the right place, and all of a sudden I'm just sliding off into the middle of the ether. And so it would be that. I've never finished it. I hate it. Crash, Crash Bandicoot 3 is the best one, and the other two can can burn. You do know you can just uh, jump on the rope and run along the rope, right? I did know that, and I did end up doing that, but I didn't feel right. So I thought, well, I can't beat it that, that way. And so it ended up just, yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's not good, it doesn't feel good, I hate it. It only worked back in the 90s because everything was blocky as hell. And in trying to make it better, they made it infinitely worse. In the words of me and whoever else ratted on that old video, the high road. Josh. Get good, man, get good. No! So, the hardest video game level is one that I'm not even mad about being that hard because it is on Guitar Hero. It is, through the fire and the flames, on excellent because it's, it's impossible. It's not. It's not possible to do. Why is Rich laughing at me? On excellent. On excellent. <laughs> <laughs> I was excellent. <laughs> I mean, you're always excellent. Oh. Sh so I've spent so many evenings like getting my fingers in a knot trying to play this one level, having like your eyes turn into like Tetris goop when you watch it for too long, and you lie down all the wards. And you lie down and all the walls start moving like water. Um, but like, like I said, I'm not even mad about it because it's, you, need, you need something to reach to. You need something to get to the top. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll, everyone. It is a long way to the top. See, so yeah, I uh, had a long time to think about this one. And I remember <laughs> I used to have a Sega Mega Drive back in the day. And one of my favorite games for the shortest period of time was the Lion King game. And uh, it's the level, can't wait to be king, I think it's called that, one where you're getting lobbed about by the monkeys. If I wanted to be tossed about by an ape that much, I'd give your mum a ring. But it's one of those things where I just, I hate the music on it is bit crushed to hell and it sh The fact that the level design is intentionally hard. And I found out the other day, the joys of working here, you get to learn about the sort of ins and outs of game development. The reason it is so difficult is because Disney told the developers to make it intentionally hard so that it wouldn't ever be able to be completed in a rental period so it would force people to buy it. That's some shady but Yeah. 
My neck veins popping now, isn't it? <laughs> now I can't say anything from Sonic Mania because that's a boss and doesn't count according True. to Scott. Um, so instead, I'm going to go for something that I wouldn't have thought of, really, because it's not one that sticks with me. But when it came back to my head, it was like, oh, good grief, I hate this level. And that is Alien Autotopsy Part 3 from Simpsons Hit and Run. It's the last level in the game. And at the end of the game, you have to deliver three barrels of toxic waste from the power plant to the school, and you do it in increasingly more irritating vehicles. And the last level, you're with Grandpa, and he has like an army wagon with rockets on the back. So it's really, really fast. It's really, really hard to control. And if you hit something too hard, the barrel on the back of your vehicle explodes. And you have to drive back to the power plant, pick a new one up and take it back to the school again. And that's all within, a, within, within one time limit. There's no, oh, you've destroyed it. You've got 20 seconds to pick it up again. And the time will reset. Nope, you have one timer. And to this day, I have never beaten Simpsons Hit and Run because of that level and I hate it. So, imagine a level in a video game that is just full of, just consistently, the hardest boss in the game, okay? And it's just full of this hardest boss. The hardest boss in Dark Souls is, of course, gravity. <laughs> so therefore, the hardest level in Dark Souls is Blight Town, and arguably the highest level in any game. Highest level? Hardest level. Hardest level. Hardest level. <laughs> Okay, so even if you make it down to the ground level, okay, so gravity's no longer an issue. <laughs> Yay, I'm on the floor. Nope, the floor is lava. Actually, well, technically the floor is poison. Poison isn't like the worst thing in the world in Dark Souls 1, but still, it's like, give me a f break here, Blight Town. Oh my God, even even the boss. I mean, depending how, you know, gitten gooden you have gotten during the game, the boss could be ridiculously difficult as well. It's just one big bag of nope. And don't even get me started on the mosquitoes. Like, oh my God, they're just the tiniest little bags of f and you're just like, you can't hit them and they can hit you and they make you poison and I think I need to go to some kind of therapy because I love this game so much and yet I hate it so much and I just love hurting myself. It's just the hardest level in any video game ever. I can't.